So here I am, guys. I'm going to share with you guys. I didn't just mold my front lawn. And then I used this little molar right here. This little molar, I had it for 10 years. That's what I had to use to mold the front yard. Yeah, it take me two hours. Two hours to cut the front lawn. Don't mind the other edging and stuff that needs to be done. I'm barely home, so I'm going to be doing that when I'm home. But I'm going to tell you, man, you see, they thank God I was born and raised and, like, learned how to do stuff the hard way. Because this ain't no joke out here. Is this piece of thing over here, I don't want to call it junk. This, this, it failed me. It failed me. It ain't working. I turned this thing on. Thank God the neighbors aren't so close or anything like that. That thing starts smoking. It starts going pow, 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 pow. Like, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to get it serviced. Yeah, at one point, I had to say, yo, let me let me turn this off. I don't want no fire truck come over here trying to think my house ain't burning down. But you know what? At the end of the day, look at that lawn. I did that. Took me two hours. I take a lot of pride in my work. It's neat. It cut nicely done. And you know what? It doesn't look like nobody lived there. It looked like somebody lived there. Because then everybody has cut their lawn and then mine is this tall. They look like nobody lived there. So, yeah, at the end of the day, my lawn and turn out looking good. And thank God again for my mama and where I was born and raised and my daddy that teach me to do stuff the hard way because then I'll be over here dying like bawling or paying a lot of money to get this lawn.